the ruthless over exploitation of nature to serve the insatiable human greed has led to pollution environmental degradation and of course the climate change the approach of one world one family one future provides us a better way to live our lives and to structure our socio economic systems the civil 20 engagement group or the c20 which was launched as an official g20 engagement group in 2013 plays a very crucial and important role under the rubric of g20 brothers and sisters it provides a platform for the civil society organizations from around the world to bring forth one governmental perspectives on the issues being taken up by the official g20 it gives me it gives an alternative non governmental voice to the people's aspirations from across the globe i i am aware that there are various c20 working groups which are working on diverse domains ranging from integral holistic health education and digital transformation gender equality to technology security and transparency these are the potential to impact official policies and programs across all the dimensions of social economic and environmental challenges that we face today brothers and sisters when we speak about civil society there are various perspectives on it some see the civil society as a space of voluntary associations and intermediary institutions that exist between the individual and the state at times it has also been stated that the civil society necessarily works in contradiction or opposition to the state however in my humble opinion and understanding this view point is not the correct one the civil society organizations are the intrinsically antithetical to the state apparatus we have plenty of examples where both the government and the civil society have played a complementary role in enhancing the human well being there are various sectors ranging from education to health sector from gender equality to environment where both governments and the civil society institutions have worked hand in hand and have achieved significant quantifiable progress in the immediate context of the present day india many of the government's landmark initiatives such as swachh bharat abhiyan beti bachao beti padhao abhiyan etc which have brought significant transformational and attitudinal changes in the society were complemented were complemented by the herculean efforts made by the various civil society organizations in these fields brothers and sisters in fact at a broader level it can be asserted that a robust and enlightened civil society is essential for a functioning democracy as it enables the citizens to engage in deliberative dialogues and cooperative efforts outside the adversarial arena of electoral politics towards achieving the national objective